my beautiful cancers how are you guys doing welcome to my channel i hope everything is well with you guys and you guys are living your best life right um so let's get to it let's see what's going on with you let's see what the messages are and uh, yeah and thank you for all the personal readings guys um and everybody that's allowed me to enter their energy right it's i appreciate it right and i reunion what is this about what is this nostalgia i'm constantly thinking about how we are going to connect again i can't get you out of my mind right i can't get that thought of having you back into my love space again right we're at a distance where we're in a place where we're possibly not speaking we're not being transparent but let's talk about this commitment right let's talk about the love let's talk about the honest let's just be honest with each other okay let's be honest with each other because i do miss you cancer this person definitely misses you and they miss your smile they miss your love they miss you right for some of you you could be married to this person but you feel like you're not in a connection anymore right or you could have walked out or you could have left or this person could have left you or this person could have turned their back on you to some extent what is this person feeling about my cancers at this time what is this person feeling insomnia this person's really thinking about you a lot right the passion thinking about the passion thinking about the connection thinking if you will reach out again hoping that you'll reach out again right i can't sleep i can't stop thinking about you right i wake up in the middle of the night thinking about you i'm dreaming of you what else do we need to know about this connection i miss you yeah yeah reach out reach out okay someone definitely just needs to reach out right they need to reach out they and it's like for some this may be ego for someone here they may not know how to communicate cancer but they just can't get you out of their mind that's the thing i can't get you out of my head and i think about you constantly but i know the way that i left and the way that i've been treating you hasn't been the best right and it's so weird because I am normally used to you reaching out and now it's like I have to and it's a bit hard because I don't know what to say. I feel like this person doesn't know what to say, right? They don't really know how to open up. They weren't really good at it, right? They weren't really good at it. How is this person feeling actually? Come here. Let's see what this person's feeling yeah they miss you they want a reunion for some of you guys this person has already reached out but you're not sure of their intentions what is this heart song what is the song that you guys share that telepathic connection there's a connection that you guys share where um it's like out of nowhere you cross my mind we both know that this connection is powerful but what is stopping us right what is stopping us despair hopeless someone here i feel like is in a place where they're giving up okay they're giving up and all they have to do is reach out okay someone here is having mixed signals right they're just a bit unbalanced here they're not too sure how to reach out and yes it, uh, for some of you guys it's like yeah it's very simple all you have to do is call send me a message but I feel like this person knows that if they reach out, they have to say more than just hi. Right? They have to say more than just hi. They have to really express themselves. And for a lot of you guys, I feel like this person's in a place where telling you that they missed you is something that's kind of hard for them. Okay? Because you're going to actually, now I feel like my cancers are in a place where it's like actions speak louder than words. This could be you, Cancer, 
where you're not sleeping and you're constantly thinking about this person. Like, I miss the old you. I miss how you used to be. I miss how much you loved me. I missed how honest you were with me at that point. Okay. But I don't understand how you're allowing lust to separate our connection, right? This person could have been very non-committal. This person could have been very non-committal and this person's coming off um, like, yeah, what, what was this connection about? Was it just the physical? What was it, right? How could you allow other connections to come in between us, all right? I feel like someone's in a place where they may just be, you know, embracing this player energy. But, mm, yeah, you know, I don't feel like they're really good at it. Okay. How is this person feeling, please? How is this person feeling? Okay. I feel like this person is feeling like you definitely um, <laughs> have just f pulled away. Like you're focused on yourself right now. You're not really focused on them anymore. It could be dealing with a cancer. Could be dealing with another cancer. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay. This person feels like okay. This cancer is not really worried about me anymore. Cancer has you know focused on themselves now. I haven't heard from cancer. What else do we have here change interesting because the more that you actually turn your back and i'm not telling anybody to go play games or anything now but i feel like the more you turn your back and really set your boundaries i feel like this person is going to start coming in here okay where they want to start something new they want to start a new um want to start a new chapter but boy this person misses you a lot right intuitively i feel like this person the lovers yeah they still love you right and i don't know if they ever told you this but this person loves you i feel like this person literally found their happiness when they met you okay being very deceptive about it however they're being very deceptive about this love that they have for you Right? They pushed you away. They dismissed you. They ignored you. They really didn't open up to you. Right? They're not really telling you how much they miss this connection. Because I could tell you guys, this person does. They're trying to show everybody else that they don't care. It's like I, you know, I'm acting as if I'm okay. Leo energy here. Yeah. Yeah. This person's in a place where they're literally trying to mask their energy. They're trying to mask their energy. They're trying to stay in control. They're trying to stay in control of the outcome here. And they're not expressing how they feel because how they feel is going to make them feel vulnerable. <laughs> Interesting. This person feels like they're going to feel vulnerable if they open up about this, right? Because I feel like if this person opens up, they actually have to tell you how much they love you. Right? Queen of Cups here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> and I see this person literally can't get you out of their mind. It's like whenever they listen to music, whenever they're in their time of just you know, quarantine, right? This person sits back and they really do think about you. They really do. What else do we need to know about this connection? Yeah. This person is in a place literally where they're feeling like this is over. They may have come off like they, oh yeah, this is done. I'm not doing this anymore. And I feel like they're worried about this. But I will tell you guys, this energy here, I feel like this old energy of constantly coming in and leaving and this back and forth, this is for the, this was in the past, that's done. 
I feel like my cancers are in a place where it's like I'm transforming this whole dynamic, right? And I feel like this person's really afraid of change. Okay, this could be you, Cancer. But you guys have to understand that in order to grow, right? In order to step into a new chapter, you actually have to allow things to transform. Because look at the sun in the background here, right? After death, there's life. So I see that this person's actually learning how to love themselves, learning how to love you. Okay, this person definitely left you out in the cold here. Turn their back on you. Okay, and for some, I will tell you that this person is willing to let this end. Okay? But I feel like this person is in this energy of transforming as well, though. Okay, look at that. Look at this. I know I have to change in order to meet my empress i know i have to let go of my past in order to love my empress right i know i have to let go of my past in order to love myself so i see a lot of energy of releasing the past past ways not this person but past ways right that mindset that energy of having um doubt being doubtful about how to love you and this could be for the cross watcher too, whoever. I'm tired of not loving myself um, properly, right? The universe is teaching me how to release things that don't serve me, release things that I can't control in order to love myself, right? You see that, water, that waterfall in the back, right? Abundance. The universe is pouring out their abundance. Be open to receiving it. Do not be blocked off, understanding that every every connection is a lesson okay so you guys are learning about yourself learning how to put yourself first i'm learning how to love myself i don't know i have even if i have to end this connection with the scorpio or if i have to end this with whoever right i'm showing them how to love me you're teaching this person how to love you and hence love themselves all right so i feel like this is a whole learning process here and I'm feeling like this person knows that they have to change. They have to get help. They have to open up. They need to release things, release that anger, release that energy of blame, change in order to meet their imprint. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So I feel like this is one of those things that you definitely have to be patient with. Because the Empress here, she doesn't beat herself up when something ends. She understands how the universe works. She doesn't worry. She doesn't fear. She knows that the universe is always there for her best interest. Like, we're not here to hurt you, right? What's the point of believing in the universe if you believe that the universe would let you, know, let you down? Endings. Death. Right, I'm ending the constant cycle of being lied to and being shut out. Okay. Be patient with this person, guys. All right, and be patient with yourself. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome? Yep. Boundaries. Ah. Do you know how many people are getting this card? Boundaries. This is the outcome. Babies. This is the outcome, right? In order for me to step into a place of love, awakening, that new beginning, I have to have standards. I need to be consistent with myself in order to be consistent in a relationship with others. I can't constantly let someone shut me out and think that that's a, a connection because, I mean, unless you treat yourself that way, right? Because we're only attracting what, who we are. I don't ignore myself. I don't shut myself out. I don't, um, you know, block myself. Or maybe you guys do. But I'm looking and welcoming love that is honest, open, consistent, that has boundaries, that has standards. Right? I'm redefining my whole definition of love. That is what I'm doing. 
yeah, I want the truth, but I have to be true to myself first, right? I want to connect with someone that is open with to loving themselves. But this is the outcome, guys. This is the outcome. This is beautiful. I will talk to you guys soon. I love you, Cancer. You know I love you guys. All right, cross watchers, whoever. Um, and like, share, and subscribe, of course. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.